In December 2000, Airbus boldly announced the launch of its A380 program, making a confident bet that their super jumbo jet would revolutionize air travel. Backed by a staggering $25 billion investment, Airbus aimed to dethrone Boeing's iconic 747 and dominate the skies with the world's largest passenger aircraft. The A380 was an engineering marvel, capable of carrying more than 850 passengers on long-haul flights. But this dream quickly faded. By 2019, faced with dwindling orders and skyrocketing operational costs, Airbus made the painful decision to cease production of the A380. It seemed that the super jumbo story was over. But today, in 2024, the aviation world is witnessing something unexpected. A resurgence in demand for the A380. Airlines that once shelved these giants are now rushing to bring them back into service, and some are even spending millions to upgrade them. So why the sudden change in fortune? Could this be the start of an A380 comeback? Let's dive into the reasons behind this surprising revival. When Airbus unveiled the A380, it was more than just a technological leap. It was a challenge to Boeing's long-standing dominance in the wide-body market. At the time, the Boeing 747 had reigned supreme for decades, becoming the go-to aircraft for long-haul flights. Airbus, however, believed that bigger was better. The A380 was designed to solve what Airbus saw as a critical problem overcrowded airports. The A380 could carry significantly more passengers, and Airbus believed this would be a major selling point for airlines operating out of the world's busiest hubs. By October 2007, the first A380 was delivered to Singapore Airlines, marking the dawn of a new era in commercial aviation. Initial demand was encouraging. Emirates, Singapore Airlines, and Qantas all placed significant orders for the Super Jumbo leading Airbus to believe they had a winner on their hands. But the reality wasn't as optimistic as Airbus had hoped. The A380's design relied heavily on the hub-and-spoke model, where airlines would shuttle passengers from smaller airports to major hubs using smaller planes and then fly them on larger jets like the A380 between these hubs. However, the industry was shifting toward point-to-point -point travel, using smaller, more fuel-efficient aircraft like Boeing's 787 Dreamliner and Airbus's own A350 to connect cities directly. The A380's enormous size, while impressive, came with significant drawbacks. For one, it was expensive to manufacture. Airbus had invested heavily in new facilities and processes to build the Super Jumbo, and the costs were staggering. Labor, materials, and infrastructure for the A380 were far more expensive than Airbus initially anticipated. On top of that, the aircraft was only certified to land at a limited number of airports worldwide due to its sheer size and weight. Airlines faced challenges in scheduling flights and maximizing profitability. Perhaps the most glaring issue, however, was fuel efficiency. The A380's massive size required equally massive engines, Rolls-Royce Trent 900 or Engine Alliance GP7000 turbines that guzzled fuel at a rate that became increasingly unsustainable as oil prices rose. Meanwhile, newer, smaller jets like the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350 were delivering similar range capabilities but at a fraction of the operational cost. These wide-body aircraft, with their twin-engine designs, were more versatile, cheaper to operate, and crucially, more fuel efficient. As a result, airlines that once embraced the A380 started to reconsider. Lufthansa, Air France, and even Singapore Airlines, Airbus's launch customer, began phasing the A380 out of their fleets. In 2019, Airbus formally announced the end of the A380 program, with the final aircraft delivered to Emirates in 2021. The COVID-19 pandemic seemed to seal the A380's fate. Global travel came to a grinding halt in 2020, and the world's largest airlines found themselves scrambling to survive. Fleet downsizing became an immediate priority, and the A380, with its high operating costs and limited flexibility, was the first to go. Lufthansa, which had been a significant operator of the A380, announced the full retirement of its fleet in early 2020. Air France followed suit, 
permanently grounding its A380s. The aircraft that was once heralded as the future of long-haul travel was now being retired, sold for parts, or parked indefinitely in desert storage facilities. Industry analysts predicted that the A380's time in commercial service was over. But just as the world began to write off the A380, something surprising happened. As the pandemic receded and travel demand rebounded in 2023, airlines found themselves facing a new problem, a shortage of wide-body aircraft. With air travel recovering faster than expected, many airlines were forced to dust off their retired A380s to accommodate the surge in passengers. The International Air Transport Association reported that by the end of 2023, global passenger traffic had recovered to 94.1% of pre-pandemic levels. International travel had bounced back to 88.6% of 2019 levels, and airlines needed larger planes to meet this new wave of demand. Lufthansa, which had grounded its A380s, made a surprising announcement in 2023. It would bring its entire A380s fleet back into service by 2025 and upgrade them with new business class cabins. Singapore Airlines also confirmed the return of its 12 A380s, spending $850 million on upgrades to maintain the Super Jumbo's luxury appeal. Even Emirates, the largest operator of the A380, reaffirmed its commitment to flying the aircraft for at least another decade, investing $1.5 billion in maintenance, repairs, and retrofits, including a new premium economy cabin. The A380's resurgence can be partly attributed to Boeing's own setbacks. In 2013, Boeing introduced the 777X, a next-generation wide-body aircraft that was expected to revolutionize long-haul travel. However, Multiple production delays and certification issues have pushed back its delivery timeline, with the earliest estimated deliveries now set for 2025 and possibly as late as 2026. This delay has forced airlines like Emirates and Singapore Airlines, which had made substantial orders for the 777X, to rely on their existing A380 fleets. Emirates alone has 205 orders for the 777X, but without those planes, They've had little choice but to extend the life of their A380s. The story is similar for the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, which has faced its own production delays. Airlines that had hoped to replace their aging fleets with new, fuel-efficient 787s have had to adjust their plans, once again turning to the A380 as a stopgap solution. While the A380's passenger version is seeing a resurgence, its future may lie in other roles. China has recently expressed interest in converting retired A380s into freighters, filling a gap in the booming air cargo market. These cargo conversions could breathe new life into the aircraft, especially as global demand for air freight continues to grow. Additionally, startup airline Global Airlines has announced plans to operate an all-A380 fleet, with routes connecting London Gatwick to New York and Los Angeles. Their plan to offer a luxurious all-A380 experience could mark a new chapter for the aircraft, positioning it as a symbol of high-end air travel. The Airbus A380 was once seen as an aircraft ahead of its time, but ultimately too big and costly for the future of aviation. Yet here we are in 2024, and the Super Jumbo is making a remarkable comeback. Will this revival last? Could Airbus even consider restarting production, perhaps with newer, more efficient engines like the Rolls-Royce Ultrafan? While it's unlikely that Airbus will immediately bring back the A380, the renewed interest in this aircraft has shifted the conversation. For now, the skies are once again filled with the sight of this giant, and it seems that the A380's journey is far from over.